Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am Canna, and sitting next to me is the beautiful Erin May Henry. Now we are in Melbourne, Erin's hometown. It's absolutely beautiful, the city behind us. And we are having a bit of a power, a bit of a brain session, but also I wanted everyone to understand what Erin's channel is all about because it's an incredibly powerful and helpful resource for anyone out there who's got an idea, a business they want to launch or explore something because her advice is really practical. Just like I give you money tips, she gives like great business marketing, PR branding tips. So can you explain to everyone what your channel is all about? Yeah. Hi everyone. It is absolutely lovely to meet you. So my name is Erin and I am a personal branding strategist. What I do with my YouTube channel is really trying to introduce people to what it's actually like to be an entrepreneur, to monetize your passion and to work from home. I think it can often be so elusive sometimes the steps that someone took to get to being a six figure entrepreneur or to being a successful YouTuber. YouTuber, but I really have documented my entire journey and will continue to document it so I can show you exactly what I've done so that you can model that for yourself. I also give really practical and tangible tips about exactly what it's like to be successful, how to be successful and how to build a business. So it's really important to me that I'm not just sharing the fluff, I'm not sharing the concepts, that I'm actually teaching you what you need to do to be successful. Yeah. So that's pretty much my channel. <laughs> and look, to everyone check out Erin's channel, I will link it in the video description box below but really practical steps to help break through raise your bar take your business idea to from just an idea to actually a business that's operating making money growing expanding like evolving so definitely a very valuable and helpful resource to have for any budding entrepreneur all right so today we want to talk about our habits to success now we have been chatting for like an hour and a half like talking about like the things that are going on in our business what's working what's not what challenges what ideas we've got sharing our inspiration and you know we um, almost should have recorded that I know, conversation it was, it was so, so good. valuable <laughs> I've made a few notes I've got some things I've got some homework I've got to do and hopefully I've been able to give you some Definitely. stuff back as well but what we want to talk about is like have a really open and, and raw conversation about our secrets to success our habits but going beyond the wake up at 5 a.m exercise meditate you know food plan like let's go to the personal growth where we we have our own breakthrough we raise our bar we stretch we grow we evolve we become more resilient and share with you what habits we have in our own everyday lives that have helped us the most and how like precious and sacred these habits and almost rituals are for us and share with you what they are yeah all right, so let's waste no time at all and get straight into it because I'm sure everyone's dying to hear what our secrets to success are. All right, Erin, tell me about yours first. So my first habit, and this is probably not one that you think of having an impact on your success, but it is so profound, and that is to expand your experience. I think monotony is not only the killer of inspiration, it's the killer of fulfillment and it really limits your ability to succeed in life. If you wake up every day with the same routine, go to the same job, speak to the same people and you don't have that influence from any other areas outside of your current reality, it's really, really hard to grow and growth is the secret to success in my opinion anyway. So really make an effort, a conscious effort to be expanding your experience daily. Sometimes this might be something huge like traveling, skydiving, going into a huge mastermind or a group coaching program. Sometimes it might be the little things, trying a new food, going a different way home, listening to a new podcast, whatever it may be. But if you can just every single day try to do something that's a little bit out of routine, you never know where the new idea or the new piece of information or inspiration is going to come from that's going to set you on a new path towards your success. Yeah, I love that. So important. And I'm such a creature of habit. Yeah. Like I, I love my routine. So I need to, that's what I need to start incorporating. More. You can still have really good routine as in to limit your decision fatigue and to know exactly you know what you got to get out of the day but even just those little sprinkles mm. the spice of life yeah, yeah. Uh, really helps you to just really feel fulfilled yeah absolutely now my secret to success is watching comebacks so I'm actually a hypersensitive person um, I don't take criticism that well unless it's directed in a very sort of careful mindful constructive manner and um, I get hammered um, and I get attacked by a lot of haters and, and people sort of with their opinions, um, particularly on the Daily Mail. And um, I have had to learn to become so much more resilient, less, um, more, it's okay to be sensitive because it's also being sensitive, I think is good for other people because yeah. I'm sensitive of other people, but I've had to really like get a thicker skin. But what has really, really helped me 
and I probably think it was my number one tip, is watching comebacks or reading and listening to comebacks. Listening to really clever, funny, witty, intelligent people, particularly women, handle situations where someone tries to be degrading, pull them down, um, attack them, bully them, being a hater, and they just respond with such poise, dignity, strength, and elegance. And you can look up Sophie Vergara on comebacks, you can watch Margot Robbie with comebacks, you can watch Hillary Clinton with comebacks. These women just handle themselves with, the, the, with such strength, um, still humble, but with so much pride. And even just watching a couple of minutes a night when you're having a bad day, um, it works like a charm. And it's funny, like Tom, my partner, who I love to pieces, um, he's you know he loves to rustle my, ruffle my feathers like you know make a few little cheeky comments here and there but I shut him down so quickly but I make him laugh and it completely diffuses anything but I I actually am not lowering myself in it I'm actually elevating myself and and that is one of the best tips I can share for anyone that struggles with being sensitive being bullied um, people inflicting their opinions constantly on them like it makes such a big difference I think that's so powerful as well because so many people hold them back hold themselves back from success mm. in the fear of judgment yeah you know I'm not gonna create a YouTube channel I'm not gonna create a podcast I'm not gonna put myself out there because what are people gonna think mm. when you can really handle that with grace and elegance even if the judgment does come your way because it will, it will. Judgment and people, everyone has an opinion and they always yeah. want to share it with you yeah yeah mm -hmm. and, and yeah it is heightened when you do start putting yourself out there I mean you're judged walking down the street if you don't have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. <laughs> or anything if you're not doing anything so it's unavoidable but I think that's so powerful yeah. to just with that mindset and if you can make someone laugh you've got yeah. them <laughs> <laughs> um, all right what's your next secret to success yeah so my next one is really strengthening the communication channel with your intuition I know a lot of people say listen to your intuition listen to your gut but I think there's a huge misconception with what that actually sounds like a lot of people think they may be listening to the, your gut but we are so heavily influenced by stimuli every single day scrolling through social media conversations that we have things we see on the news it's really easy to have your mindset inflicted by what other people are telling you to do then when it comes time to make an intuitive decision it's really hard to know whether or not that is influenced by all of this stimuli so if you can set up a practice where you truly 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 can clear your mind and start having a conversation whether it be through journaling whether it just be through thinking with your intuition and understanding the difference and I'll tell you the key the key is the feeling associated with it when you can really start to tr strengthen the the awareness of that feeling then you can really make decisions from the gut and less from the influence and you know that everything that you want in life every goal that you have you already have the answers within you and when you can really listen to that voice truly listen to that voice and not the external environment you will get to success so much quicker and also when you tune into your gut and your intuition you it fuels your energy yeah yeah you, and you're so much stronger and you can actually it's easier than to block out the noise yeah, yeah. I love that <laughs> all right my next one is to figure the trigger when someone says something that irritates us frustrates us emotionally hurts us explore it don't just mask it don't retaliate back don't get defensive explore it go oh that hurt ouch what happened there like that's because whether it be whether it be the truth or not there is one little part of you that does think it's the truth and you need to explore that and understand that and when you it sometimes it's external triggers sometimes it's like it's person personality triggers but when someone is there there's a certain air in your life that makes you fire up and gets angry and defensive and you're wasting your you're giving away all your energy explore that what is going on why do you feel particularly defensive around that is there something that you feel insecure or self-confident um, about it, just go and explore it and go and work through it and come out the other end where you realize actually you don't need to think or worry like that it's uh, that does not exist another thing is understanding the external triggers I know for myself personally I become very stressed and anxious if, if my environment is messy and disorganized and cluttered so I know that it's important for me to actually invest my time to clear the decks clear my surfaces put things away properly be organized because then I have the right level of energy the right level of focus to get through my day and get all the things done so understand what your triggers are both practically and emotionally as well and another sort of example um, you know I had I shared a video called the truth where I talked about people um, you know trying to cl claim that I never really did the thousand dollar project and I used to get quite upset by it but then I realized 
why am I getting upset about it? I did it. I really did. I have all the bank statements. I have all the shares, everything, all the registries. Like, so and as soon as I made peace with that, it stopped impacting me. It stopped that. It stopped the trigger in within me. So invest time in exploring the trigger. I love that so much. That, I guess, I mean, it's a really great segue into my next thing because my next tip for success, my next habit, which I think is so powerful, is reframing. So whether that trigger occurs, whether something in your life occurs, it's so easy to just hold on to the emotional attachment to the situation mm. rather than looking for the silver lining in the, or, or the message. Mm. You know, or the blessing. Or yeah. the blessing. Mm. I, this is such a trivial example, but my partner and I were out shopping the other day and we went and bought a whole bunch of candles. Candles can be quite costly. Yes. Uh, <laughs> George, my partner, ended up actually dropping some of these candles and... You know, that was literally money down the drain. He dropped them as we stepped out of the store. You can't take them back. Oh, what can I refund? But anyway, we just, we could have held on to the fact that we just lost, you know, $150. We could have held on to the fact that George was clumsy and how to fight about it. Or we could have said, which we did, that could have burned our house down. Yep. That could have harmed one of our animals. It was supposed to be. And if you can truly master this habit of saying, oh, well, it was meant to be, or what can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? This was supposed to be like this. I'm being protected. Then you save so much time and energy that you would otherwise spend ruminating on a negative situation. Yeah. If a trigger does happen, if something happens in your life that upsets you, if you could just try to reframe, what's the message? What's the positive value from this? It's just a time saver, if yeah. anything, a time and energy, emotional energy saver. It's funny you say it because Tom and I went to London and I booked the accommodation in London and it looked great. We booked Airbnb and online it looked fantastic when we got there. It was in a really horrible area and a really horrible apartment and initially like we were like I was panicking, Tom was angry but then we realised actually we got really great price. Um, we're barely going to be in our room, we're staying at the Airbnb, we're going to be out exploring, yeah. catching up with friends, having fun. It was no big deal. And because of the accommodation, we saved money for the hotel, we actually had more money to invest and spend on experiences. So, you know, we could have fought the whole time in London and yeah. hated it, be miserable about the place we were staying at, but we didn't. We could just got on with it. We saw it actually, it actually worked out to be the biggest blessing in disguise yeah. and it was fine. So, Tony yeah. Robbins has a really great quote it's appreciation over expectation. And I think when you can truly flip into that, well, we're oh, in I London, you know, yeah. you could be have this expectation of a high quality hotel or you could just appreciate the fact that you're able to travel exactly so. yeah a hundred percent all right next one for me is is me first and I think you know what this actually is so funny my son taught me this um, he always says like you're like bucket fillers you know have time where you put yourself first and I try and make for me that that getting up at 5 a.m. because I get that sacred like special alone time where I can choose like whether it be the hour from 5 till 6 or 5 till 7 I get to do something for myself, whether it be spending an extra 10 minutes doing my hair and makeup or whether it be, you know, getting that 10 minutes to watch something I've been dying to watch on YouTube or finish off that chapter of that book. Something where I get to fill my bucket so that I am doing it earlier in the day so I get to feel the benefits throughout the day. But putting, put yourself first, like whether it be having a longer shower or, or um, you know, something where you just walk out go oh my god that feels so good that mini break I got away from my world my ritual my responsibilities just to do something purely indulgent for myself so you know learning to put yourself first and do it ideally I recommend doing it earlier in the day so you feel those benefits rather than later of the day but it, it makes my day run so much smoother I'm more present I'm more relaxed I can handle more challenges that come away because I've as my son says, I filled my bucket up and mm, yeah. Love that. Mm. And honestly, I've just got something to add to that because I think my biggest struggle with that is the guilt that always mm. came with it. You know, I should be working, I should be, yeah. you know, cleaning my house so that my partner has a good place to live or, you know, I think it's so important to just let go of the guilt because every dis human being deserves time for themselves. Yes, absolutely. And that even time alone as well, yeah. that solitude is so, um, but so incredibly valuable. I love it. So my next one is to have curiosity. This is something that I think stops when we finish school. You know, you graduate and it's like, now I'm, I'm done with learning. Yeah, I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, the, 
the, the habit of curiosity, the habit of questioning things, the habit of wondering why, even with what we're saying today, why should I be implementing them? Go deeper. That's where you truly, truly can grow. I think it's really easy to just hear things and accept them as truth. And that's why we end up with all these messed up beliefs. That's why we end up so heavily influenced by everything we see. If you can really start to question why and be curious about life, curious about knowledge, curious about learning, experiences, habits, everything that comes your way throughout your day to be truly, truly curious about it. That's where you open yourself up for so much expansion to quantum shift from where you are now to the success, success that you want to have. You know, I see it so often because of my clients and the people that I work with, instead of saying, how can I start a business? They give me every excuse under the sun about why they can't. It's, you know, the quality of your life is determined by, determined by the quality of the questions you ask. I think Tony Robbins said that. Um, <laughs> throwing out the Tony Robbins <laughs> quotes today, so but <laughs> it's, it, it's so true. If you can honestly say, instead of, I don't know how to do this, how can I learn how to do this? Mm. I don't know how to save. Mm. How can I learn how to yeah. save? I don't know what who I need to be to be successful. How can I learn? It's so important to just be truly curious yeah. about life. When you stop and ask the question how, you start to like look at the solutions and when you, you're going to be opening up the, your skill set yes. and your confidence in, within yourself and you realize how capable you really are because you can, you can figure things out. It's all the building blocks to being a strong, resilient person, I think. Yeah. Mm. My next one is um, actually quite similar about like the passion of learning and growing and that is to like feed your brain. We can become so um, bogged down and absorbed in what we do for our living like you know, you know marketing and branding and you know video content and finances and money and investments and stocks and bonds. All right, there's a whole other world out there and there's lots of good things going on in the world, there are lots of bad things going on in the world but I, what I have done is I now listen to only ABC radio and I listen to it in the car, um, I listen to it like whenever possible and that, just those couple of minutes in the car listening to something, I am so much more aware of what's going on in the world and I've listened to the most amazing conversations and not completely not related to my um, unrelated to my industry i've listened to how in washington they just finally got rid of the death penalty um, what's going on in nauru with all the kids and re refugees and the impact on that and what we can do to help um, learning about industrial relations for farmers you know learning about like the there's so many other things going on in the world and we can kind of live this very narrow-minded like little bubble of a world but when you listen to something that's not mainstream like something like the abc it is absolutely incredible the conversations we get to we get privy to. It's funny. I was listening to the radio the day and I actually heard a friend of mine on the radio. I was wow. like, oh my god! <laughs> so I messaged her. I'm like, you were great on the radio. And she's like, what? You listen to the ABC? And I was like, are you kidding? It's awesome. It's like yeah. my favorite channel to listen to. And you feed yourself with such valuable content and just it's you're able to get perspective back. And especially when you're like caught up in a little challenge, like. There's bigger things going on out there. Like it gives you that sense of gratitude and appreciation again. It's so funny you say that because I just started recently listening to the Joe Rogan Experience yeah, podcast, he's great. and you know, that's a comedian who now has a podcast. But even he interviews, you know, American political commentators, mm -hmm. uh, sports professionals, scientists my knowledge up in a way that is interesting to me mm. because I still get that element of comedy which I find really interesting yeah. but I would never go out and actively seek information on the you know political climate in America myself yeah. but now I'm so much more aware of it yeah because I found it in a way that I enjoy exactly and that's the thing is Joe Rogan is not afraid to ask the yeah. questions like he'll ask why but I was like that doesn't make sense but like we're hearing this like why are people being told this when that's not the truth like he actually breaks it down and makes it really achievable and that's the thing with ABC radio it's I thought it'd be really dry and boring it is fascinating yeah. like I love it yeah <laughs> I love that so my last habit and honestly this is probably my favorite because it can completely transform your life experience is make an effort to meet new people now I know that sounds super basic and it's probably the one that you'll feel the most resistance towards actually doing we truly truly are a cluster of the people that we surround ourselves with one of my coaches said something the other day that struck such a big nerve and it was always be the dumbest person in the room and I know it sounds right. really kind of out there. Counter, counterintuitive almost. Counterintuitive, yeah. but if you are always surrounding yourself with people that are growing, expanding, and putting themselves out there, you are forced to grow with them. If you are in a room where everyone is 
on your level or below, then it's really easy to remain stagnant. This whole video is about how do you actually achieve success, you know, not how do you just like live your life where you are and the people that you encounter with are truly gonna make an impact. Even just this experience today of filming with Kana, we obviously had such a long conversation before, before we started filming and I am already so inspired to go and change my life, particularly in the area of finance, which never would have happened if I hadn't <laughs> have had that conversation. And if you can truly put yourself out there, meet new people, go to events, even if you're in a remote town in the middle of nowhere, getting yourself online yeah. and making friendships with people online. Having conversations, meaningful conversations. Meaningful, deep and meaningful, the good old DNM <laughs> is so, so powerful. You never know who you're gonna learn. Every single person is a teacher. If you can really truly yeah. understand that concept and open your mind to new people, new experiences, you will have a new quality of life. Yeah, yeah, so true. All right, my final tip um, is to simply say no. <laughs> Oh God, this um, is one I need. Uh, particularly as women and, and mothers were really relate to this. You're always saying yes, like you're like we're running on empty, and that's when resentment and um, you know the frustration, and then we become like short fused. And sometimes you just simply need to say no. Put yourself first and have a day at home. Yeah. Have a day where you just forget the to do list, just to unschedule yourself from this and that, and just park the guilt and just simply say no. It is so good for the soul. It recharges your batteries. It allows you to catch your breath again. It allows you to like to sleep. It allows you to, to be lazy, to just recharge those batteries so that when you, and you do this and you just have to do it for just a very short amount of time, you just, you recalibrate yourself and then you're good to go again. It is so something we, forget to do and we feel like they're FOMO and I feel yeah. obliged and don't want to upset people and I'm someone who hates conflict um, so I find myself saying yep yes yes and just completely over committing myself and then I'm less left feeling bucket empty you know frustrated um, I've deprived myself so learning to just listen to your intuition as to when you need to say like no and yes but honor that and honor it with pride and there's when you do it it takes practice but when you start doing it you get so much energy back. It's really empowering, it's really invigorating. That's the one I am so bad at, but I am definitely taking away as the biggest one because I just, yeah, I overcommit so much. Yeah, well it's, and it's, it's just like practicing. Just yeah. say no to like catching up with some, a friend for coffee. Like it doesn't have to be like, like a big no. It can be little things like, oh no, you know, I'm gonna um, go for a shorter walk instead of a longer walk. Like it, it's just start to, you know, have boundaries. boundaries yeah. yeah, and it's, for your own preservation. You are you of no value to someone if you're feeling flat and empty and you know fr frustrated and angry. So we, I think with the, for everyone watching these tips, I hope you found them really helpful, but please don't go and like throw yourself into the deep end and do each of these tips to 100%. They're habits, habits take a while to form and you've got to work out the best way of incorporating or infiltrating these habits into your life so that they work. So start small, maybe you listen to the ABC radio for just five minutes a day, that's all you really need rather than listening to like for hours on end or you know learning to, to say no to like you know, a holiday or something. Like, learn to, to, to slowly build on these ideas and work out what works for you because some of these or all of these may work, but only if you try them and, and test them and tweak them to your situation and your value system, that's when it's going to be valuable to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, everyone, that is it for this video. Don't forget to head over to Erin's channel. I will link it in the video description box below. But highly recommend for anyone that's out there that wants to become an entrepreneur, wants to build their own brand, their own business, their own company, has got a dream, a goal, and to see those practical steps to take it from being up here out into reality, incredibly important. As I said, a very valuable resource for everyone. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thanks. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Make sure that notification button is switched on. And I will see you next week for Money Monday. Bye. <laughs>